find the intersection of each pair of sets. Remember, the intersection is the elements that appear in both sets at the same time. So for the first example, if we look through this and pick out which elements appear in both, we notice there's a 3 in both of them, and there's a 5 in both of them. But 1, 7, and 9 only appear in the first one and not the second one, and 2 and 4 appear only in the second one, not in the first one. So the intersection is going to be the set with two elements, 3 and 5, the two elements that appear in both sets simultaneously. In part B, we again ask ourselves what elements belong to both sets at the same time. Notice this is going to be the empty set, because by definition, even and odd numbers are all different. Finally, for part C, we take the natural numbers and intersect that with the empty set. So we want to know what elements are common to the natural numbers in the empty set. Since there are no elements in the empty set, there are no elements that could be common to both. So this is going to again be the empty set. And this is true for any set that we start with. If we take the intersection with the empty set, we'll always get the empty set because there are no elements that can belong to both by definition because the empty set has no elements. In parts B and C are examples of what we call disjoint sets, meaning they have no overlapping elements. They're disjoint because their intersection is the empty set.